and it's been in the town since 1974. So um, all of that time we've basically been focused on helping mainly homeless people, previous homeless, previously homeless people, um, and disadvantaged um, and vulnerable adults. What we do nowadays is really welcome anyone in. Um, they can get a hot meal, breakfast or lunch. Um, they can take part in activities. They can, if they're rough sleepers, they can get a shower, um, get some clean clothes, meet with friends. Um, it's a real sort of community centre really for people that aren't necessarily welcome elsewhere in the community. The real definition of homelessness is someone who doesn't have a home. Someone, it's more than someone who doesn't have a roof over their head um, because many people in today's society are homeless but they have a, they're, luck, they're very lucky to have a roof over their head. You know, they might have friends that will let them sleep on the sofa um, or family that will let them you know, stay on the floor for a few weeks until they get themselves sorted. Um, they could be staying in temporary accommodation, a council run bed and breakfast for example, um, or a night shelter like the one that's just um, c close to the Hope Centre here. We deal with mostly uh, what's called single homelessness, uh, single homeless people here, which means um, they don't have any children. It doesn't necessarily mean they're unmarried or single in that sense, but they're not families. Without children, you're a much lower priority, um, and those are the people that, that we help. There are different types of services that we offer really for different types of clients so we, we can't really we can't just lump them all in together because someone who is sleeping rough um, you know who's literally going out and finding car parks and cardboard boxes to sleep in uh, of an evening when they come to us um, they need a certain type of help which is very different to someone who has um, maybe been staying at the night shelter for um, a year and has just been given a flat We've got low-income parents, the long-term unemployed, um, refugees and asylum seekers. Um, we have um, single elderly people um, who are experiencing, you know, maybe they've lost a, a partner um, and they're, they're, they're not coping with living alone. Um, you know, we see a, a lot of guys like that turn up here because they're not able to cook for themselves, they're not able to really, really just look after themselves on a day-to-day -day basis. And they come here and they sit here and, you know, we're able to feed them and we're able to um, offer them what we call our carry-out service, which um, is for 20 pence, they take away a bag of food, basically. They get bread, they get a couple of cans, um, you know, of, of, of beans or meat, fish, that sort of thing. And um, they get tea bags and pasta, all from our donated stocks, and we provide that as a carry-out service so that in the evening, when we're not here, they're able to go home and make something like beans on toast. Um, you know, so that they're able to, to feed and provide for themselves. Uh, this food is very nice. I'm taking it home because I'm anorexic and I'm starting to build myself up. So hopefully I shall eat this today. <laughs> Thanks to the Hope Centre. Within those basic services, we've also got um, showers and we've got a um, uh, clothes, clothing store. And that's where we have um, rails of donated clothes, um, all set out in, you know, sort of in men's and women's. In the winter, there's a rack of coats, there's nice winter shoes, um, and that's, that's very well used. Um, the, 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 our clients, they pay 20 pence an item, so the clothes aren't given away, and some, sometimes people ask, why is it not given away? You know, why, if it's given to us for free, why is it sold to the clients? Um, and the reason for that, um, that change, which, which took place a, a number of years ago, is really to um, encourage responsibility for our clients. And the other is to um, really say that, they're not, that they don't feel that they're living on handouts. You know, it's very difficult to take a pride in yourself. Um, if you're permanently just being given things. So it, it, that really does encourage a sense of pride for them that they've bought an item. You know, it's 20p to you and I, but to them, yeah, they've, they've bought themselves a winter coat. We have an IT room um, with eight PCs that people can access for free. Um, it's set up very much as um, an internet cafe. So people, you know, they get their logins and they get a certain amount of time each day and that's, you know, um, renewed daily so that they can access the internet to, to to do formal things like look for work, look for accommodation, but also I think more importantly um, to keep in touch with family and friends, you know, look at Facebook, do the things that you and I take for granted, which they can't actually do anywhere else because 
if they don't have a house, obviously they don't have a PC, but even if they do have a place to stay, very often they won't have access to a, to a home computer. As a, as a charity, I think we're quite unusual in the way that we um, receive funding and create funding for ourselves. Um, we, we receive support from the Northampton Borough Council, um, we, uh, but it's, um, it's, it's quite a small percentage of our overall um, requirements for income to keep the charity running. And so um, we rely very heavily on the local community, whether that be individuals, um, schools, churches, businesses. Um, all of those areas of the community provide essential income for us. Um, and they're very, very generous in, in doing so. Um, we've, we've got great relationship with a lot of the churches in the town, um, especially at harvest festival time and at Christmas time. Um, and really what we would hope to do is to build ongoing relationships that, that work for us as a charity, for our clients, um, and also for that church community you know, on an ongoing basis throughout the year to see what we could do to, to, to make that sort of a, a two-way relationship on an ongoing basis. Um, and the same with, the same with local businesses. Um, we find that companies love to get involved um, at Christmas time when the staff can come and volunteer. It's very, very rewarding um, to come and you know, serve food to our clients at Christmas time. Um, staff get an awful lot out of that and, and so, do, so do we as a charity and so do our clients. Um, and I think in terms of building um, a, 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 a relationship with a business then um, when we've worked successfully with businesses it's been very much a, a two-way street so um, I think what's quite unexpected to the, to the business is, that, uh, is the amount that we're actually able to give to them in addition to the amount that we receive uh, uh, from them in, in terms of the support that they offer. DHL uh, decided to go to the Hope Centre because we've got a lot of DHL sites around the Northampton area um, and we looked into a number of organisations and the Hope Centre was the one that we chose. Any organisation would get a lot of value out of doing this. We first of all did it as part of a teamwork um, but it has much more value than just team working. Um, it gets everybody involved, getting things done that you wouldn't normally do in a workplace. People are out, able to use different skills, um, you're able to bond with people that you haven't um, met or uh, worked with before. Um, you can give something back to the um, community um, and that's something that DHL value and, and find very um, rewarding really. We're all scattered all across the country and so the value we get of coming together and working on uh, a task like making, a, making dinner for a group of people um, is really valuable to us as well. It's good, a good time to spend together as a team. Um, in DHL we have our own charity called the DHL Foundation um, and they um, uh, have got a scheme called Match It. Um, and so I put an application in for the money that we raised previously in, in August and um, DHL Foundation matched the amount of money that we raised. So we're really pleased with that. We really do appreciate it. Uh, well done for today. I get a good reputation locally. Um, people know and communities know that you know we are here and we will support them. I think they also get staff that are satisfied that they are able to go out and do and support events within our time and that sort of gives um, employees that sense of working for a great employer. I think that's what makes Barclay Card so great because it's, it's part of our, our actual development every single year we need to get involved with things and, and each year it gets bigger and better and there's more charities involved and, and different events all over the place. I mean, at the end of the day, Bartley Card want happy staff and, and this is what it gets because we, we all like coming here and we like the fact that we get time and, and we're encouraged to, to help out with local projects. We got involved with Hope Sense because our belief within Royal Mouth for recruitment is to give people opportunities that maybe other employers do not give those people opportunities. So I visited the Hope Centre, had a great day um, um, helping out the, on, the on the floor with the Hope Centre guys, 
meeting them, getting to know the individuals that go into the Hope Centre. And I could see then there are definitely some future potential employees who would like to come and work for Royal Mail and who we would like to come and work for us. We deliver to every house every day in the UK. Um, and our, our, our ethos is that why not employ everybody who we serve? So we want a little snippet of every community working for Royal Mail. We believe we're the, one of the most diverse employers in the UK and to prove that then we, we believe our recruitment campaigns we try and get a little bit of everybody working for us in the business. Businesses can help us with a whole number of things, a really wide variety of things. Um, money is always essential and I think sometimes businesses might, might assume that all we're interested in is their money, um, which certainly isn't true, although it's, it's, uh, we'd never say no to it. Um, other things that, uh, that we're, we find are really valuable from businesses is the, um, the time, the, the, the man hours that their staff are able to offer us in voluntary services um, in a wide variety of, of roles here, whether it's in the kitchen cooking or serving or washing up um, or speaking directly with the clients, um, you know, sitting with them, having a cup of coffee and really just being a listening ear to